What if learning driving theory could also be fun? Educational video games are games that are able to be entertaining while also teaching the player. Video games are usually only associated with being fun, but they are also able to act as an excellent learning tool. Meanwhile, the only methods of self-studying driving theory are either reading books or trying out theory exams. These methods are often not considered entertaining. So why not use a video game to teach driving theory? This leads to the following problem formulation. How can an educational video game be created to effectively convey driving theory in comparison to self-study by reading driving theory books while also being entertaining? This project, Educational Video Game, conveys six different topics of driving theory. These topics were as follows. Roundabout, yielding, pedestrian crossing, railroad crossing, merging, and police control intersection. The game consisted of two parts, one part featuring an open world, the other part featuring puzzles, or as we call them, scenarios. In the open world part, the player drives a car around in a city in order to find the scenarios. The scenarios are puzzles which the player has to solve in order to learn. These scenarios show a scene in which the player has to figure out how to drive correctly through it. They do this by dragging and dropping icons to convey how they will act and what they will be aware of. Besides giving feedback on whether or not the player's solution is correct, the game also brings up examples of correct and incorrect answers, illustrating how the giving scenario would appear in a real theory exam. We did a test to investigate two things. Firstly, the educational effect of the game. If people were better at memorising correct answers with the game in comparison to one of the current methods, theory books. Secondly, the entertainment effect of the game if the players found it fun to play. The test was a before and after experiment, which consisted of 12 people, of which 6 tried the game and the other 6 tried the theory books. Results were then gathered from custom-made theory test data, which was used to measure the educational effect of the game. The 6 people who tried the game also answered a questionnaire, which was used to measure the entertainment effect of the game. Results showed that the game was not significantly better at conveying driving theory in comparison to books. It also showed that the game received mixed feelings about the entertainment factor, though mostly pointed in a positive direction. However, due to delimitation in target group and small sample size, nothing can truly be concluded.